Chapter of Romans, and also the book of James, uh, chapter 1 and 2. Alright, so as some of the theme in Be Wise, Live and Work Righteously for God. Be Wise, Live and Work uh, Righteously for God. Okay? First thing, uh, I want to, these are the themes that I'm going to share. At peace, when we have the peace, we are able to pry Satan under our feet. Alright? And humble submission will ward off the evil attacks. Alright? And a pride opens the way for Satan to come in to attack, to scatter and destroy us. True genuine faith expresses itself in true consistent godliness. Eh? And the purpose of trial, not trial, eh? is to perfect us, to mature us, that we lack uh, no um, that will not let wisdom huh? and faith without deeds is dead. Okay, let's go to Romans chapter 16. Alright, and uh, Paul is ending the chapters with greetings from Priscilla and Aquila, the co workers, and these uh, people reach their lives for Paul and not only I but all the churches for the Gentile and grateful to them. So this is a very dedicated uh, uh, couple, Priscilla and Pina, where Paul worked with them and, and with them the time in ministry. Yeah. So there was a uh, provision. Alright, so they have been uh, good to Paul. Alright, so we need people like this, like uh, Aquila and Priscilla, a uh, helpful couple to the Apostle Paul. Uh, during the days of his uh, church planting, yeah. so he needs a lot of support. Alright. But support uh, is difficult to come by, especially when you say when he was uh, in prison and very uh, hardly any churches uh, supported him except for the church of Philippians. Uh. Okay, greet all churches who meet at their house. Alright, and uh, right now we are using uh, the greenhouse for cell phone. Uh, please come and join us. Alright, and you can join us. And Thursday, yeah, we got 10 over of us at the uh, Amrathi. You can join us on Thursday if you are open. And join us in the uh, recital at 8 o'clock, finish at 10. Alright, now we'll read the book of Matthew. So, and it means uh, they have a church meeting at the uh, Priscilla and Aquila house. Alright, so we, it's a upcoming open house, it's very good, it's a very good start. We have another house, uh, look at the uh, Francina, that is Christine house, they are available in Sambawa. And we can also use them and pray that they soon can join us. Alright? They are joining us for the camp. And greet Mary, who worked very hard. And also greet Andronicus and Julia. And my fellow Jews, we have been in prison with me. And they are outstanding among the apostles. So these are the uh, fellow workers uh, who are so called. They, they laid out their lives for Jesus. Right? So, these are, so they are our example. Like greet Apelles, uh, whose fidelity Christ has stood the test, and uh, okay, and of course uh, this particular person is called the uh, uh, whose household are greeted. Uh, uh, who is this guy? All right, Aristo Aris Aristobulus Aristobulus, uh, and he was one of the seven disciples, and he he went all the way to share the gospel in Britain. Uh. All right, so these are the greetings of the fellow workers who were a woman. Who work hard in the Lord and Percy, another woman who has worked very hard in the Lord. So you can see that Paul is uh, naming them as the co workers, one way or another, and they are all uh, okay and uh, support the ministry and working together. Alright, and uh, they are chosen in the Lord, and some who has been older like a mother to him. Right? So when we were in uh, Church Party in 1919 in New Delhi, and then we have a couple who are like our parents. Okay, every Thursday we will go to their house for cell group and every winter especially they will go mutton soup. Alright, so to keep on one. Alright, they are very hospitable people. Alright, when they came to Singapore, I went to meet them. In fact, uh, the daughter went to one of the, the CEO. Alright, and I have a, a I think it's a condo at the orchard, so we are there to visit. Alright, so it materially is blessed in the sense of the word. Okay, question number one. Today we are going to discuss.
discuss question number one now. Why Paul introduced uh, here the God of Peace uh, will crush Satan under your feet? Hey, is the question now. Uh, we're going to discuss that. Uh. All right. Okay, let's read the text first. I urge you, brother or sister, uh, to watch out for those who cause division and put obstacles in your way that are contrary to them, and you have learned to keep away from them. For such people are not serving our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own appetite. By small thought and flattery, you deceive the minds of the naive people. Everyone has heard about your obedience, so I rejoice because of you, but I want to be wise about what is good and innocent about what is evil. And the God of peace will soon cross Satan under our feet. Okay, what do you think? Uh, well, why is it that he introduced uh, Satan kind of history and uh, share with him? Uh, why? Uh, uh, in verse 20, uh, Paul introduced Satan. Alright? Why Satan is brought into the picture, Gerald? Why Satan is brought into the picture? What do you think? Uh, Ali and Gerald? Anyone? Okay, feel free to ask. Why Satan is brought into the picture in these few verses? What uh, God is trying to tell us? What can we learn from here? Any idea? Gerald? Based on the verses. Right? Based on the verses. I just have to come here. Any, anyone? Ali? How about, uh, how about you? How about Anthony? Can I to share with us? Why is Satan introduced here? You know, Paul was talking, 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 talking so nicely and suddenly say it's Satan, right? Why, what, what is the significance of bringing Satan into the picture? So, yeah, Jonathan? <coughs> yes? What, why bring uh, Satan into the picture? Yes? Okay, you, you, you know what I say, you say, you're not sure anything that would say, that would say something that is really, you know, really out of our joint. Yeah. Alright, at least close to me, huh? alright? Okay? Because I'm the important, I will treasure the flesh together. Right? You cannot let our God. You cannot let our God, okay, but okay, it is a good, you know, God, our God, huh? Okay, in one sense, yeah, it was spiritual warfare. A spiritual warfare. Yeah, and yes. God was saying that He will soon give us the victory. Okay. Just like Satan will be crushed under our feet. Okay. And the word soon means the fastest feet. Okay. The time is near. But okay, uh, it's just for you to share until I find the answers they are looking for. Uh, of course, these are, these are okay. Okay, these are uh, uh, answers around the area. I want, I want, I mean, I'm looking for textual evidence. Uh, okay. And something that uh, I will use the answer later. Alright, so these are the answers that we have written down, all these are, are, the themes are there, okay? But we're looking for more, that's what that. we're looking for more things. Anyone? Okay, good, can you try? Can you try? No, no, just look at the verses. And you don't know what look like, just a year to express. Yeah? So Satan will yeah. use like situations, people, because they say for such people are not serving the Lord by their own appetite. So yeah. Satan can use such things to deceive people, like, and then so, uh, okay. and then also, they are watch out for those who cause division and put obstacles in the way. Okay. So, like, uh, okay. when we obey, we will be wise about what is good and innocent, about yeah. what is evil, and then we will be given the God of peace that will soon crush Satan under your feet. Somewhere along the way. Uh, okay. So, okay, now we're getting closer. Can you add on? Some more? I'm still looking for one Look at the verses there. I'm still looking for the main trust. Okay, you, you're getting closer. Yes? Is it obedience or disobedience? Sorry? Obedience or disobedience? Yeah, the obedience is there. Yeah. But yeah, that one is still, is still the, the words there. But I'm looking for the central argument. The main what argument. Huh? The main thing that Paul is driving in. What's the main thing? Anyone? Can you catch it up? Why? Esther, you say something? Uh, I believe we shall see something. Yeah? What's Be vigilant, okay. Alert, okay, someone? I'm looking for the central argument. No, no, that you're wrong, man. Eh? I'm looking for more, the central argument. Anyone? Who deceive the mind of many people, the false doctrine. 
Okay, that's the word, false doctrine, right? Okay. Yeah, they are not serving our Lord Christ, but they are serving Satan. Okay. So they are bringing people away from the right uh, doctrine. Yeah. And they are stopping the advancement of the gospel by doing obstacles. Yeah. And division is not uh, God wants us to be united. Yeah. But then it's because division is not the work of Satan. Yeah. So that's why Paul is saying that God of peace will soon pass Satan under the work is soon. Uh, yeah. Not, not yet, because Satan is still in the job to, to do. Uh. But soon, <coughs> Alright, okay, the sexual argument is false, inspired by Satan. Okay, that is the thing. Okay, look here. I go through the year. Watch out for those who the division. It's due to false teaching. These are obstacles. Wait, 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 wait. Can I go back to the others? Okay, obstacles. Uh. Division is the false teaching for division, and these are obstacles in your way. Yeah? Contrary to the teaching, you have the means. You have done learning the correct teaching, but this is a uh, false teaching. Keep, stay away from them. For such people are not serving Jesus Christ, because the doctrine doesn't come from Jesus Christ, but their own appetites, their own, own uh, pleasure, their own greatness. Alright? By smooth and flattering of the deceive the mind. Okay, the teaching, uh, they, you know, they way, they're so nice, huh? but actually it's a deception. Deceive the mind. And everyone has about your opinion, yes, opinion, yes. So I rejoice because of you. I want you to be wise about what is good eh? and listen to what's evil. Evil has nothing to do with false. False, false teaching. Eh? Be good, be wise, what is good to sound teaching. Eh? And the God of peace. So when you walk righteous, alright, and God is with you, you have a peace with God, when you have sound teaching, alright, promote and grow, alright, and then you have peace with God, alright, and then uh, the God of peace. Okay, will cross Satan under your feet. So when you are living a right, okay, you are having a sound teaching, then you are protected. You don't be afraid of Satan. Alright, Satan comes in because there's a false teaching inspired by Satan. Okay, let me get some of my book. Okay, what's up for the local division and put obstacle teaching? Alright, and they're contrary to what you are taught and they were serving themselves. And those who are not teaching the not teaching is serving themselves. And Paul was talking about false teaching inspired by Satan that caused confusion and division within the church. And the false teaching could lead us to go to hell. Alright? And our commentary say that they, but they, these are the false teachers who lead to the damnation. Huh? They will go to hell. Alright? And they themselves were to be condemned. Next one. And by smoke of the they see the mind. Right? What to be wise about? Okay? He wants to see through the wrong, the deviant, deceitful, humanistic teaching under the influence of Satan. The wrong teaching is often due to pride, right? Pride, right, because they serve their own appetite, exalt themselves to their greatness. You know, uh, one uh, important factor, uh, okay, to have correct teaching, you must be, you must be what? Humble, yes. When you are humble, then, then you can learn. Alright, you are, you're so clever, uh, then nothing can go in. Because uh, what you know is all that you know is you think you are superior to all the greatness. Uh. And a lot of false teachers resign and use to false teaching. You know, I know a lot of Christians, uh, or some Christians, uh, okay, they like to do God's work alone. I mean, they go to this country, that country, uh, because there's some money, they go there and donate some money and they go there and share this and preach. But they are not under spiritual cover. Okay, one of the possible reasons why they are not under spiritual cover, they cannot work with the church. They cannot submit to the authority of the church. Because they are not humble. It could be because they are proud. Okay, and I, I heard some of them, and, one of, and especially one or two of them, I heard that they, they, they're teaching in Osama, right? And uh, I never engaged them, right? So, I believe to say I never invite them to join us to, 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 to serve together because my my idea that the, the doctrine is not right, right? I, I don't take that in because because it's very hard because it's unity division, huh? so there is a problem, alright? So a lot of time is due to the pride, and when you see Satan comes in to influence or even teach or dictate or directly influence the person, wrong teaching, yeah? Okay, next. And there is a conflict between the sinful nature and Satan in the spiritual realm. Evil thoughts come from the heart. And Judah's sins of greed and Satan enter into him. 
When you obey God's word and you are wise, as uh, example, Parmi Chinyanti, okay? Okay, righteous living, able to cross Satan under your feet. Okay, let's move on. Uh, okay, so you know, uh, from within the heart comes evil thoughts and greed and even pride is there, right? Arrogance are all these uh, evils. Okay, and defile. So arrogance of pride is a sin, huh? And defile a person. Next one. Satan entered the Judah, right? Okay, you are agree the money, right? Next one. Okay, then, in other words, is that, uh, okay, in uh, doing God's work, you are conform to God's pattern, uh, God's way. As I mentioned, uh, don't start a church alone without the spiritual cover. Okay, and Paul was sent out by the Antioch church. Alright, you were under spiritually. They taught him out and prayed for him and Barnabas, and then the church sent out. That is the God's pattern. And they got, that is God's way of the local church. Remember, a local church, not other way. The okay, other way is humanistic way, man's way. Man's way to help God to do this work. Huh? So remember, if you want to be fully blessed, truly blessed, do it God's way and God's pattern. Alright, I have been in a ministry to tell you well enough is that only God's way to do this. Right? If you don't do it God's way, okay, you are trying to help God to do God's thing, God's way. God, uh, God things are uh, your way, yeah? eventually you may suffer. Alright? Okay? I can share with you some experiences uh, that people will go through. Okay? And I examine and talk through this issue for more than 30 years. Maybe not overnight, right? And before I come to this, uh, do not start the church without any spiritual cover, make disciples. Remember, we are called to make disciples. Okay? Don't do other things, right? Okay? But we have free tuition here. We do free tuition because we use that as demonstrating our love so that we can bring the gospel. And there are people who want to come for free tuition and don't come to the Bible story. Sorry, we don't take because we don't have manpower. We also don't deny with our guidelines. Okay, we don't do that. Okay, we only take in people and parents allow them to have gospel. We make it clear from the beginning. It's confrontational. Because we don't have to be afraid. We don't have to lie to them. We don't have to do it. We have to do it with CC. They come in. You tell them tuition and they preach the gospel. And without letting them know. That's what is wrong. Ethically wrong. Huh? We don't do that. We tell them upright, upfront. If you want to join our program, you sign. Okay, you agree. I want to be another. Allow your children to come there, you take that in. Huh? And praise God for all these all these young ones, all the parents has allowed them, right? So we have no problem with their parents. They know that they are in church today and they are here. So no issue, no problem, right? Praise God. So we must take care of God church properly as we are comfortable to our chief shepherd. Huh? So don't play with God. Don't play. Uh, don't mind with God. Okay, God is very serious. We destroy God, church, God will destroy you. The Bible says, uh, okay, I see the people, uh, you know, they any more harm, uh, then God judge them. Alright? Of course, we are not the judge, uh, but God is the judge. But the problem is that God judge them with them. Short life. Alright? So you want to live long, you do it God's way. Yeah? I always say, Jesus, why are you just uh, uh, only 33 years old? He died, right? Of course, God is a special plan. Uh. Okay, for Paul, why was he needed special? Uh? Right, of course, we know the reason they are martyred for Jesus Christ, right? Okay, so, okay, let's get here, this. Alright, I want to, just yesterday I shared about this, huh? I think uh, Kalai and the rest, they don't know the answer, because I think this is important, I, I felt that it's important to share this. Huh? Maybe for those who are not with that yesterday, you can help to give the answer. Huh? Okay, let's start talking about this topic. Huh? Alright, this one you're talking about, okay, let's read, huh? To the elders, a few will share in glory. Be shepherd of God's flock. I don't care watching because you are willing. Not pursuing dishonesty, not lording, not controlling them. But example, remember, don't lock over there. Don't impose the thing. Yeah? You know, last time uh, I served, you know, people, you know, I don't like to wear the t shirt inside. We all wear the very hot, right? When it's about somebody, uh, you know, the, my mentor asked me to wear uh, a shirt. You know? I am not comfortable, so I never wear. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Because he like to wear. So, but he like to wear this white t-shirt inside, no? We are all older fashion, he like to wear a t-shirt inside, right? But I, I don't like. So, he asked me to wear. But I, I, I don't wear. I said, no, sorry, I am not comfortable. No impose. You wear can really, don't ask people to wear the same. Correct, no? Correct? Is it true? So, why you lost my mentor? See, I have to say, can you say I'm sorry, but I don't wear. <laughs> Alright? Because, we don't, we don't go over there. We don't impose. I'll give you an example today. Okay, next one. 
And when the chief shepherd comes, you read well, you will be walking with the crown of glory. In the same way, submit yourself. Okay, look at the same way, the same principle. Huh? And submit yourself to the elders and with humility and not oppose the proud and give you anger. Humble yourself under God's mighty hand, He will lift you up. Read the next one. And cast all your anxiety. Okay, what's the meaning of anxiety? You can guess. Huh? You can guess. Huh? Okay, let's say we need this car and for he cares for you. Be alert or so that your enemy will proud like a roaring lion for someone to give up. We see him stand firm in the faith because you know everybody believes in suffering to save the world. Okay, my question A, why is your enemy Satan comes in? That's one. Second thing, what do you think is the anxiety? That's well we need this car, right? Okay, let's talk about Satan first. Okay, let's uh, ask Ellie. Ellie from Ellie was not with us, right? Uh, who are you? Tunha, right? You're not with us. Okay, Tunha, you're with us. You want to share with us why the enemy comes in? The uh, enemy, why, why is the word enemy there? Read from verse 1 to verse 8. Can you remember? It's important uh, why the enemy comes in. Come right? Do you want to share? Your enemy is Satan. Yeah, Satan, correct. Why Satan is, 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 is described here? Oh, Why? Uh, yeah. At any moment, he can. <laughs> okay, let's, let's uh, give the next the four feet. The, the, the verse 6. Verse 4. Uh, okay, let's go to verse 1. Let me show you one more time. Okay, look. Uh, so this is the background. Okay, these verses. You understand? Uh? Okay, next one. Okay, here yeah, they also talk about that, right? Then after they come to Satan, right? Okay, why Satan is mentioned in the verse? Anyone? Because he can, uh, he can take over your mind anytime. Take over your mind. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, we must discuss in actual evidence. Okay, when we discuss, huh? Maybe okay, uh, we will discuss based on the text, okay? Then it makes sense. We look general, huh? not general, we see how it goes. Alright, let's, uh, anyone here? Uh, Eddie, you want to try? Yeah. You want to try why the enemy comes in the first mention? That's why we mentioned Satan, right now we mentioned another Satan. Why? Why Satan comes in? Then don't talk about anxiety, what it is over anxiety. Alright? Yeah, this is my thought. Uh, okay. Okay, let's uh, hear from Kalai. Come, Kalai, you want to share? I remember that Angelique. Angelique. Okay, we can help you in the game. Okay? Okay. When you describe, we are not here to embarrass you. We are here to share what we have learned. Okay, and then we add on a little add on for you. Alright? Yes, Angelique? Yeah, okay. Why? Pride is sin. Okay, pride is sin, yes. When we don't submit to Authority leadership, right? Yeah. It means like we are proud. Okay. And then God opposes the crowd. So when we oppose God, means we are like on Satan's side. Yeah. And mm-hmm. we need to be humble in order for God to call us to be promoted. Yeah. Okay. So uh, when we don't submit to authority, the devil comes in to destroy uh, not only the individual but also cause disunity in the church. Okay. Okay, this is uh, like a case of uh, King Saul wanted to kill David, right? And although King Saul was wrong, but David still submit. He said, when he got opportunity to kill Saul, right, he didn't kill him. He said, I must submit to God's anointed, right? Even though King Saul was bad. So in this context, uh, under Peter, uh, they had to submit to a terrible and wicked uh, Emperor Nero, who was very harsh and blamed the Christian for setting fire to the city. Actually, around them. Huh? So he accused them. In the end, uh, Peter and uh, possibly Peter and uh, this uh, Paul was uh, Paul was beheaded and Peter was crucified upside down. So it's during this great persecution time and he said he had to, about this context, he was sufficient to, to the, the shepherd, right? the leaders, not only to God but also to the leaders and then you must humble yourself to submit to the leader because God because some sort of reason uh, why people cannot submit because of what? Pride. Because of pride. They cannot submit. And then they do their own thing. They do it their own way. Example, some may be out there, they some, some may be out there, those may be out there, right? And do it because they cannot submit to the local church. Okay, they want to do it 
own entirely on your own. Single, they have the money. All right, they do the turn to the those uh, country and then they give some donation. All right, so because of this, uh, because of pride and insubmission, they call this unity. When you call this unity, Satan will come in. All right, and uh, attack the leadership. Okay, so. Alright, so there is another cause is that the in submission to righteous authority in particular, but even to bad authority, you still need to submit because my uh, in due time God's approval, you might let God to raise you up. The, the position is not the main thing, the main thing is your character. Alright, character is above all. Alright, position is good if you use it uh, for God's glory. Alright, what do you think of the word anxiety? Uh, then this morning I had this thought. Uh, exactly what do you think of this thought? They say, God, say what? Uh, call, cast all your anxiety on me because He cares for you. What do you think is an anxiety? Anyone can make a guess? Uh, you can think of the scenario. This scenario is a persecution time under Nero. And then, of course, they are under the leaders and under the senior. And then they need to, how to say, uh, submit to authority. So, what do you think is an anxiety? This one is your guess, ah. If you can guess. What's the clue? No, you have to express the phrase, ah. Okay, no, no, no word that starts with D or E or. Uh, it is a phrase. Alright. What do you think is an anxiety? Yeah. And this one, you, you have to think. Okay. How many word phrase? Uh, you know about words. It's about the uh, phrase, ah, uh, or a sentence. Anyone? Anxiety. Okay. Sometimes, ah. Uh, it's not easy, okay, like maybe I just go straight. Like sometimes it's not easy to submit to leadership, right? Because you will be a struggle, right? And then say, God, why are you still like that? Why like that? I still gonna submit, right? Correct or Correct or Why like that? Why like that? But God said, you still need to submit. You don't like the leader, you still need to submit. But this case is, you don't like the emperor, right? Very hard, right? You still need to submit, or you don't go into the fight and overturn, right? The authority, right? The Jesus is not here. To be a political king and topple the Roman government, no. He has no such desire. He has to be a human, uh, a king in our life. Okay, the anxiety could be because, you know, uh, it's very difficult to submit. Alright, so God said, don't worry. If the leader is not good, I will remove them. Okay, so if you don't remove them yourself, let God do it. God, somehow, He will do it. Alright, you remove this, you remove this emperor, and set up another emperor. This country no good. This in charge. You uh, remember uh, the, the the Babylonian was removed, right? And then bring in the Persian. And after removed, bring in the Christian. After the Christian removed, bring in the Romans, right? So you can see God set up thrones and bring down thrones. So let God do it. It is so that you just need to pray. They say, "Cast your anxiety because but God knows everything, the situation, so to balance them, so to be fair." But the, the main thing is you must still submit to the authority whether it's good or bad. Alright? Okay, can you catch that? Can you catch that? Alright? Okay, so this is uh, one anxiety, okay? So don't let Satan come in, uh, don't take things into your own hand. Let, 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 let God do it. Okay, God is alive, He's awake. He will do it in His own time, okay? So don't have to worry. Don't have to worry, but just do what God wants you to do. And that's the main thing, okay? Alright, the rest leave it to God. Alright, God is, is alive, huh? And then, okay, next verse. That's interesting, huh? Now then, you need God's grace, huh? You need the grace of God to go through. To call you to eternal glory, right? After you have suffered, is it? God knows, huh? Well, we himself will restore you and then you strong and firm, is it? To me, be the power. So God is all powerful. Don't have to worry about it. All these uh, worldly leaders of Satan, alright, God is over them, and more powerful than them. Alright, you just need to listen. Eh? Okay, let's go to my script. Next slide. Okay, leaders taking care of the members. Submit to leader, the other is submission is pride, pride is sin, and when sin comes, Satan comes in. Eh? Submit to leader, in God's time, you promote you. Next. Elector, do not sin. Okay? So do not give the devil a foothold. Pride is a sin, anger is a sin, and then if you do things wrong, Satan will come in to attack you. Next one, he will destroy you. Okay, you see, yeah? you see the evil people, right? When they talk evil, they see that. It's not all conflict, especially it's the right one. 
Don't cause division in the sense the Bible says some of the one of the terrible sin uh, is called division in the church or in the family. It's the greatest sin in the sense of the word out of the seven, right? That's the last one in Proverbs 6, 16 to 19, right? Uh, I don't know where to put that in put that. Uh, this one, uh, say, yeah, remember that this kind of, the death, death of disaster will work in the instant of people suddenly be destroyed without remedy. You can see that our God will take care of them. You don't have to worry. They just die suddenly. You understand? You'll be shocked. Hey, oh, I just don't have to go. Very good. I'm suddenly die. God will take care of them. You don't have to worry. You leave it to God. You understand? Oh, you tell them, you're going to walk, oh, hey. Something dropped in the head, die. Right now. Right now. If you could, huh? God will protect you. True? Okay? Alright, so you just want righteous. God will protect you. God will send the angels. Okay? To push the thing away from you. You cannot see. Yeah. Right? Okay? So maybe God just touch his own thing. Go. <laughs> he don't do anything. He just like, oh, I don't need anything. <laughs> so God can do anything. Alright, this is God, huh? Okay, next one. Okay, this is the one I got hits, huh? The 16, 7, you have 40 guys. The pride. A lying tongue. Hey, they share an example of how the evil is because sin. See, they are quick to rush to evil. Can you think of this person who quick to rush to do evil in the Bible, the New Testament? Anyone? Who is the one who is quick to do evil? Okay, who? The one who to betray Jesus. Oh, Jonah. Jonah. Jonah is scary. Ah! Jonah. Right? He is quick to rush to do evil. Yeah. Hey, Jonah is quick to do evil right now. Yeah, that's one thing, huh? And of course, we can have a person who stirred up conflict. This is the last one, right? Chapter uh, 7, right? Okay. Uh, so, we stirred up conflict in the community called division in the church, called division in the family. I think this is a uh, false teaching, is one of them. Okay, pride is one of them. You know, church can be split because of the color of the curtain. Okay? And so, yeah, because some want white color, some want brown color. And then they, the community split, huh? No problem, next week the church. Or maybe the brand of the tire of the car, the van. Alright? So the church can speak because of all these issues. Alright? So then we're very careful to handle carefully. Alright? So okay, you know, we have a uh, community there, make sure. Next. To fear the Lord is a need by being pride, arrogance, evil behavior. Pride goes evil for and all. Okay, next. Pride. I think pride is an evil behavior. Alright? I think pride and pride is an evil behavior. Okay, next one. The pride of the heart has this. Ah, if you are proud, huh, you are being deceived. Okay, you are being deceived. Because a lot of people are wise in their own eyes. They are wise in their own, own eyes. They are all wise in their own conceit. Okay? So, a lot of people, they you know that they know it all. Right? But actually, it's not true. They are being deceived. Alright? Be humble, then you can learn new things. Alright? You can always learn new things. Okay, next one. Uh, okay, the, those who scatter, the, the Lord will scatter the crop. Okay, he has scattered those who are proud in the innermost part. They are scattered. Okay, they, they cannot submit and they are all alone. Lone ranger, waiting for their own. Why? Because they submit authority. Alright? And God lift up the humble. Next one. And uh, be, uh, uh, be humble, right? Be humble, you should not be proud, associate with the people of the church, you should not be conciated, be peacefully with all men. Next one. Okay, I'll uh, continue the Romans. Uh. Uh, Paul was uh, saying is that uh, these are the good people that go with him. Alright. Okay, and uh, Ty Timothy is co worker, and Gaius, Hospital, and so on. Uh. Yeah, this is a guy is a guy is a guy is with the S. Okay, we have completed the book of Romans. Okay, Paul was saying that basically in chapter 16, uh, the key word is Satan. Alright? He warned the Roman church be careful of false teachings. Alright? They're going to speak to the heart because they did it. They say these are the good workers, the good ones. They won't open their house for self -care. Or church, all these, huh? Okay, so basically, uh, Paul was starting to complain. Okay, now, because of time, I go through the book of 
James. Uh, basically, the book of James, uh, James is the brother of Jesus, right? And he's the leader of the Jerusalem Council. And his stressing is that uh, God will put you to trial, is to mature you, to perfect you. And if one thing that James will come is very practical. You must have works. If you have faith without works, it's dead, right? And because if you just by hearing the word of God huh, and not doing it, you are deceiving yourself. You know why you are deceiving yourself? Come, let's uh, have a. Uh, Ellie, why, why is it that uh, James says that uh, if you if you have faith alone, you are deceiving yourself? Why? Why are you deceiving yourself? When you hear the word, you are deceiving yourself. If you don't, don't what? Okay. Uh, no, I just make sure. You, yeah, you have faith and you listen to God's word. But. No action. Uh, no action. No action means what? No action means what? It's not with D. I'm not going to do it. Demon. Not demon deeds. <laughs> you must have deeds. Action, yes, but you must have deeds. That means you must have evidence. Evidence, first thing, what are these? Can you give me one example, please? What evidence? In a church, church content. What are these? You have faith, but at least what are these? Give me one example. Sorry? Okay, let's, 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 now, so you know, right? Give me one deed. Okay? What is one deed? One thing. You must say, you must have deeds, right? Yeah. God speaks to you, right? God wants you to do something. Example? Huh? Yeah, what, what, what action? Mm. Example of action. Example. Example. Uh. God asks you, okay, clean the thing you need to perform. You must follow. Example in the church. Example. 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 Okay, they come back to you, you want to think? Where you come? One deed. They need to call Jesus. Okay, good. Pay attention. The brothers are there. That's good. Pay attention is uh, in one second. How about someone? You start listening. The Bible does not say we listen to this good, right? Go be disciple. Huh? Discipleship. Discipleship. Ah, good. Discipleship. That means you must teach them, right? If you teach, it's a uh, teach, right? You listen, not enough, right? Because you, you have faith, right? You listen. Is what you are saying? You have faith without what? And not teach is a day. day. But you want to see teach. That's why you say what? Discipleship, right? What else? I think cell group. Okay, okay, good. You, you, you must also help in the cell group. Huh? Go and buy things for us. <laughs> <laughs> we give you the money, go and buy. Ah, okay. I eventually is the book, right? Okay, eventually you, you can share about what someone can say, right? Donate. Donate, uh, yeah, very good. Money, how are you doing? What are you doing? Buy and not use both. Use uh, the God don't want to use toys. Okay, today, that's, that's a good thing. Today, how much you have to do? 20% of my most email. 20%? 20%? Wow. Yeah. Follow up sheet. Huh? Follow up sheet. Sorry? Follow up sheet. Follow up sheet. Follow up sheet. Let me encourage people. Yeah. Okay. Hospital ministry, join us for evangelism. And teach uh, somebody the word of God, share the word, disciple them, give money, and give your talent. Play music, do video, ministry, play piano, play drum, and then uh, okay. So much action. Control rubbish. Uh, drive people to church. Interpretation. What else? Okay, yeah. Uh, Help here and there, help the church, any, any ministry, okay, the action, huh? and that's all deeds, you okay, must have deeds, you okay, know deeds, you're dead, have faith, you're deceiving yourself. Why deceive yourself? Because you talk, you are righteous, you are not. You only when you do it, then you are righteous. You just hear only, never do no righteousness. You say it's for your own you grow, you grow again, huh? but you must do it, right? Help the church, huh? and the more the better. Okay, can we have this one? Okay, let's look at James, right? He's the brother of Jesus who wrote the book. He's a teacher. Ah, see ya. Yeah. 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 Y
She is to instruct the people in the early church with space for them. Okay, I'm going to get on Stephen. Uh, I like this, this one to say that true faith expresses itself in the line of godliness, constant godliness. If a person is truly have favor, he will be in church today. Make sense? Alright? Because true life of godliness, uh, you fear God, all this. Okay, godly living. When one of godly living is attend church. Alright? Must be regular in church, right? That's the life of godliness. Just true faith, no? True faith is godliness. Alright? There are a lot of people say, I'm Christian, but I don't go to church. Alright? No? Alright? They don't remember the Saturday say, they didn't go to church. Alright? And true faith, uh, they must have uh, godliness. A godly life. And they also know God's word. Uh, they don't go to, you know, the 50% of the Christians according to the Saturday, they're going to pray to other gods. No? One in uh, and all that. Alright? No? They pray to other gods. Okay? They don't know about the Bible. Okay? How about the 12%, 50%, 6% of pray to other God? Huh? That would be 6%. Huh? And how about the 6%, how much do you really know? Still don't know, right? Because why? Right? And over the 10 years, right? The Christian thing is about down, no? It never go up. It's down. That means, uh, we have not also three churches, no? Seven normal churches, uh, but when you examine, we don't really do a good job. No? You know why? Right? I think the main thing is this relationship. Because why? Right? We are not, the Bible calls to be converts, and the Bible says, make disciples. So we must do it more, alright? And gather more, and teach them the correct word of God. Okay, then it will grow, it becomes strong, it will become strong, then it will grow the kingdom of God, effectively and powerfully. Alright? Okay, yeah? so we must uh, action. Okay, next one. Okay, we must persevere, okay? And because James is writing to them, right? Because after the death of Stephen, persecution, uh, so they are, they, are, they are tested for their faith, okay? They must not deny their faith, and then they say that when they go to trial, uh, the purpose is to mature you, to complete you, not lacking anything, including wisdom. So the end result also not only produce maturity, but also wisdom. Uh. And uh, James said, if we lack wisdom, then ask God, uh, he give him purpose, right? Okay, he keep without falling for, okay? And uh, when we bless someone, uh, it don't dictate the person what to do with the money. Alright? But of course, it encourages the person to do well. Of course, if the person anyhow spend the money, uh, you give the money going by the office. Then you better tell the person. Okay? <laughs> if it's not correct, you give money going by the office. Right? At least let me tell you. I better do the pay you, but the one is not correct. Uh, you might be a good steward. Okay? You don't tell him, uh, you give the $10, hey, you must eat chicken rice. No? You don't buy other things, you don't eat chicken rice. <laughs> you cannot. Let him decide what he wants to buy. Right? He, uh, he really doesn't like chicken rice. Then he doesn't buy chicken rice. The man take the answer. No, he asks you to give ten dollars, but only buy chicken rice. Right? What? No, let him buy whatever he wants to eat. Don't stop him. Don't go and go and dictate him what to buy, what to eat. Don't call. Because you see here, you know, fighting for. Yeah. Hey, right now. Without finding fault. But of course, if you have a set menu, it's okay. Lah. I say, take it or leave it on. This is the only menu. I like my soul. It's free. But you want it to do it, go and buy yourself. Right so, depending on the contact, lah. but generally, yeah, we, we, we give. Alright? Okay, so I think we have to do it God's way. Lah. We do it in a way that is comfortable. Don't dictate people's life. Give them the freedom. Because when you believe Jesus, you did not give them freedom, you go and buy them. You right. <laughs> go and tie them down. Okay? So give them the freedom. Next one. Okay, I told them doubt God. Huh? Okay, you doubt God. You don't believe in God, you will never receive anything from God. Okay? Okay, you, you don't have double mind, unstable. I believe that if you believe in Jesus, you can go to heaven. And you walk this way, you go to heaven. Okay? And then, uh, okay, huh? So it's important to doubt God. Uh, okay? God, He created you first. He, he, he wants to give you the best. Next one. A blessed if you will persevere under trial during the persecution. You stood the test, you receive the trial of life. To those who what? The key word here, to those love. who love. 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 Yes, good. You love God, He will do it in His way. Alright? Uh, the, the Bible that you use the word love, to those who love Him. Alright? 
And those who don't know him, they don't say. And those who don't need him, they don't obey. This word, huh? Okay. All right. So the next one is talking about uh, your first temptation and uh, your other trial, right? God doesn't tempt anybody. Okay. He is not tempted by evil. Listen. And the tempter is who's the tempter? Who's the tempter in the Bible? Satan. Satan. Yes. Yeah, not God. Huh? Some people say the tempter is Jesus. Huh? Uh, wrong. Wrong. Huh? The tempter is not, not Jesus. It's Satan. Satan. Okay. Satan. All right. And if you are tempted before you are by the evil desire, and we give to sin, and then when, when you do wrong, right, you do wrong and give us to death. Okay, unless you repent. Next one. Uh, don't be deceived, my brother. Okay, every good and perfect thing is from above. God give the best. God give you, God desire to give you the kingdom. What more will He give you anything that is good for you on love, on love? to enjoy. Eh? So remember, we serve a good God. He desires to give you the best. But sometimes conditions are. Let's say for example, eh? uh, okay, I want to say example. Okay. You need to have certain qualification. Okay? Alright? Let's say you want to be an engineer, right? You want to be an electronic engineer. Let's say you, you don't have any knowledge about electronic how to be an engineer. You, know, right? you must keep the criteria. Then you can be an engineer, right? Because you know who will trust you. If you don't know anything about your engineering, after that you spoil everything. Our <laughs> words, right? But then, right? God, I mean, what I'm trying to say is, God will to give you even design engineer care. You go and study and give wisdom, then you become engineer. Giving wisdom for the engineer. Ah, he gave. Yeah. But you must put the effort. Yeah. Okay, pay the price. Okay? Then you can. Next one. Next one. Okay. Next one. 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 I must be paid to listen slow to speak. Anger does not ah, it's not very key, yeah. Anger does not fulfill the righteousness of desire. Alright, so it's very important. I give you all moral feel and evil, huh? Okay? Alright, don't have sin, huh? don't have all the sexual sin, huh? Like the, what do you call it, huh? I haven't married already for, for child, you know, no. No, don't have this kind of sin. I'm right? going to have sex, you know what I mean, no? Like right now the world, they freely have sex and the same partner. Don't, huh? Because it's a moral feel, right? And you go. Okay? And, uh, okay, because this one is sin, huh? This one? Do not get listen to words so deceive yourself. Do what you say. This one? Anyone listen to words but does not do what you say? Okay, you can never forget who you are. Okay, next one? This one? The perfect law gives freedom. If you continue in it, not forgetting what they do, but doing it, they will be blessed by what? You do. Next one. I keep a tight brain on time. Don't anyhow say anything, yeah? Hey, don't anyhow say what I don't know. That's why in this discussion, don't anyhow say, yeah? Because it affects others. Alright? So, because the Bible says, life and death in the power of the day, they learn this of peace of the truth, they are robbers in this one, yeah? So, control your tongue. Okay? Say whatever that is helpful and encouraging. Don't say anything that will hurt the person. Don't say anything that is uh, of no uh, good evidence. Okay, don't falsely accuse people. Alright? Say what to encourage to build the person. Alright? Okay, uh? and don't embarrass the person. Alright? In, in front of everybody. Alright? Unless, unless, uh, okay, like the school that you should have. Okay? Pure and faultless, I look after all things that we do, uh, and there is strength. Keep one person being polluted from the world. Next one. Okay, those of you who are Next one. Okay, I uh, don't discriminate against uh, the poor man. Uh, in every, uh, okay, this one is evil. Uh. It's not chosen for the poor in the world to be rich in faith. And then the kingdom, to those who what? Love. The word is love again, right? The way it always mentioned is love him. Then, I all think so for good for those who love him, right? For God, that is the person. Huh? Okay, let's move on. Okay, let's go on. Then I have this. Uh, what interesting is lawyer law, uh, very important. Uh. What's the lawyer law? There's only lawyer law is what we must. What's lawyer law? What is lawyer law? Royal. Royal. Royal law. What is royal mean? Kingly. Kingly, right? Kingly uh, law. It's very important. Uh. What's the kingly law in here? This was. What's the law? Love your. Yeah, what's your neighbor? What's your neighbor? Huh? No, no, who is your neighbor? Everyone, huh? Wherever you come across, 
Is your name Fer? Sandy. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Don't call me everyone. Don't stop. Love each other. Your neighbor is inside you. Anywhere you go, you talk to a person, it's your neighbor. That is a royal, you must love them. If we are no enemy. You know, uh, yesterday I talked to a student, uh, interesting, I said, you know, say that. He said, I don't like this boy, you know, he called me fat. You know, I even don't like him. You know. I said, even though he called me fat, okay, I'll go and talk to him. But, but never mind, I don't hate him, you know, must still like him and love him. Okay? Don't be your enemies. Yeah, don't be enemies. Yeah. Okay. Then what else? What else the person say? Call me fat. Yeah, yeah, I the person. You call me fat, you know, the person. So hey, where the Bible say you cannot I say you don't forgive the person, God cannot forgive you. Yeah, so, true? Yeah, in Bible. That's what Bible says, yeah. Alright. So it's interesting, I see sometimes I was wondering, why this boy or this girl didn't come to the church no? Somebody call me this thing, that thing, and you know, then I, you know, I don't like that, I don't like that. You know? So we must be aware, we just be aware. Yeah. Because I, I learned this, you know, whatever, watch out. You know? It's not going uh, affect the children coming to church. Uh, because when there are, there, are, there are conflict, uh, there are rivalry, conflict, and all this. Okay? So also very important. Uh, so don't call people fair. Okay? <laughs> Okay, go and tell them. Okay, maybe we do some. I hate telling this thing. I don't want to put it in the different kind of light. Nice. Say something nice. Say something nice. Nice and personal. So that person can do exercise. And eat proper food. Alright. And then whatever the person does, they can skin down. Exercise. Go to the gym. Yeah. yeah, whatever you can say to the person, your own way is an old tactful way, alright? Oh, you okay, don't want to see anyone so fat. No, you might have reasons. You don't have to lie. Don't say the other words. Say it in a nice way. Say it in a nice way. That's like the suit too big. Some people say that, how do say it in a nice way? You say the suit. Find a shoe, okay, two feet, right? It's like, well, there are two ways to say. One is, you, you say, the your feet is too small for the shoe. No, 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 no. The shoe is very big, no? They say, your, your, your leg is, your feet is too small for the shoe. That's one way, right? Is it a good way? Yeah, I can say your shirt is too small for your body. Okay, lah. It's not so funny. I can say you are bottom. No, 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 the way you say, okay, now when you agree, okay, you say, say okay, now we have a choice, huh? Yeah. Okay, we say which way is better. Say, you bought this pair of shoes, is very big. Then you tell this person, your feet is too small for this shoe. That's one way, right? The other way you say that, the shoe is too big for your feet. Which one better? Uh, which one better? Uh, huh? Not enough. Second one, right? They say, your, the shoe is too big for your feet. Why the second one is better? Why? 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 The shoe, the shoe is too big for you. Not your feet is too small for your shoe, right? I put it the other way, it sounds better, right? Then after you say your feet is too small, then I keep wondering, what happened to my feet? Why am I so small? Why am I so small? Why am I so small? Then you're thinking, right? You're not sleeping. You see, you know? And then it affects the person emotionally and spiritually and everything, right? Then you cannot eat, you know, every day, you know, the whole day, but it's a bad day, you say, what a day. Right now? So I must say something the proper way, the right way, and to encourage people. Okay, okay, let's come. Okay, royal law, next one. Whoever keeps the law, yes, number one, or is really already. I thought we need to be perfect. I'm finishing already, yeah? Finishing already? Next one. Ah, okay, yeah. I thought if you love your neighbor, you won't commit adultery, you won't commit murder. Alright, so 
but you must be merciful. Okay, however you do, mercy triumph over judgment. What's the meaning of this? Mercy is a justice. And a triumph over judgment means there's a conflict or moral value, there's a higher moral value than the lower one. So it's, 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 it's better to exercise grace, mercy is better than to judge a person. Give the person another chance. Okay? Alright? So this one is called mercy, triumph over justice or judgment. Huh? Alright? So there's a different different uh, level of the moral law. Some are higher or lower. The justice one is lower. The, the forgiveness one is higher. Okay, next one. All right. Uh, okay, see someone is hung, uh, no coat to wear. Uh, don't just pray for them. You, you give them some coat to wear. Uh. Uh, next one. Okay, action. Uh. In the same way, pay by itself. It is not accompanied by action. Okay. Finishing your read. Okay. Uh, pay without it is useless. They pray offer like Zen, right? It's an action there. Next one. Okay, wait, before that, devil. You see, the devil, the devil also believes, not believe there is one God. Alright, but he never believes in the Okay, believe is not in that. I'm sorry. Yeah, the devil believes only one God. Believe, the devil also believes there is a God. But he believes the opposite. Okay, no. So, believe, you don't do anything, you will see yourself. Because when you is dead, one action, 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 for the money, right? To do it more, huh? that's excellent. Hey, we, by the way, yeah, we're going to have the unit, right? It's available, three units or four, right? Now let's say, pray for five units, and God will say eight units, and then we're asking for at least three units. You see the different fear. Huh? So pray, huh? and pray a figure that you want to be okay. The worst scenario, okay, we, 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 we lack, we ran. Okay, the better scenario will buy. And see how uh, Brother Lee can bless us. And how we go to uh, ask the, the churches and friends or whoever at the church. Okay, pretty best. Okay, pray about it and think about it. See, God speaks to you to buy a unit for the church or to rent, you know, to buy a unit and uh, rent out. Or, I mean, to, to invest a unit for the kingdom. Alright? Whatever it is, may the Lord speaks to you. Uh, see how much you want to contribute. This will be April, uh, they will know whether the place will be the Lord. Accordingly, the current tenant will be new, I think it is available. Alright, so we are there going in. Huh? Alright, so. Why is the tree? Huh? Tree. Two. The, the reason why we are three unit because if we are three unit, we can use the whole one unit for worship. Because now we see we cut here, cut there, and you see now we have two dollars here. Alright, now block by two dollars, you see. But if we have three unit, we can use the entire unit for service. Oh, that's the reason why we need to have three units. Pray for the three units. Oh, okay. Yes. 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 Can I pray for five? Yes. Esther, pray for eight. Yes. And praise God. Yes. If we have all the money, we buy all. Yes. All right? Yes. Okay. Amen. <laughs> and it's not hard to find them. Okay? So, so, you see, yeah. pray and Esther must go together. And pray must be completed by the person. Okay? Okay, now, next one. Okay. A person is only considered righteous by what they do. Not by faith. Right? So in conclusion, you are only considered as a righteous person only when you put your faith into action. The more, the better. You know why? The more you are transformed, the more you are blessed. If you have faith, no action, uh, no, you are deceiving yourself. You are not righteous. If you have faith alone without action, you are not righteous. Okay? If faith, my okay. action. Amen? Okay, let's go into prayer. We don't know how to try it. This is the conclusion. Now, this is the conclusion. Huh? Okay? Okay, this is very good. Man. The seven elements of the So, this is what we touch us huh? today. Huh? Alright, the, the areas that we need. Right? Okay? Let's close in prayer. Now, okay. Today, I hear you say, God, I want to be a man and woman of actions. I don't want to have faith without action because that is dead. My faith can only be completed with actions. The more faith, will be more actions. You're telling God, Lord, uh, I will fully obey you, I will not division in the church. I will fully submit, and in due time, you will promote me. I will not let Satan come in, and together with the church, we make disciples of the nation. We start with where we are, we make disciples, and the right Lord is to love our neighbor as ourselves, and we reach out to our loved ones. 
And we went to get him say a minute, so what is described by this event, the word of God, and live right and for your glory. And become partners with you and to, to complete our faith with actions, Lord. You say the Lord will do it for you. So today you are here saying, God, I'll do more for your kingdom. I'm going to pray for you. Anyone? Yes, I'm going to pray for you. Eh? Okay, praise God. Let's uh, invite the musician and the worship leader as we pray for 